In September 2019, we visited Terengganu and we went to the Crystal Mosque, which is just outside the main township, a little bit difficult to get to. This uh, mosque is made of um, steel and glass and crystal and quite impressive. We weren't dressed appropriately, so we never went into the mosque itself. Um, this is a view of the car park and the general tidiness of the place. The entrance to the mosque. A photograph from the outside of the mosque. And... Um, as we walked around it, we got to look at the moats and the river, or the estuary, that surrounded the mosque. And not far away from the mosque is the Terengganu Marina, which we'd already visited. And out in the distance is the bridge and where our yacht was anchored, and that's the mangroves. The whole thing was quite impressive and it's definitely worth a visit if you're ever in Terengganu. There's a lot to see in Terengganu by the way. Not far from the Crystal Mosque is Terengganu Islamic Heritage Park. Uh, it's on an island, uh, Wan Man. It was built in 2008, or opened in 2008. It's right on the river that leads to the sea. Um, one bit of advice is uh, you should really when you pay to get in, have a real good look at the tourist map, otherwise you just don't know where you're going. We took the tourist train and we went and visited a number of attractions. The Heritage Park consists of replicas of notable mosques situated around the world, uh, some of them including Saudi Arabia Medina's Mosque. Um, the Dome of the Rock Jerusalem which we visited in 2017 Khwar Sharif Mosque in Ten Sutton in Russia I've um, listed them in no particular order because I can't really remember where, Is it? which ones are which I think it's just a building but uh, the Masjid Nagra Mosque in Kuala Lumpur, Kudus Mosque in Kudus, Indonesia, and then there was one in Xi'an in China, which amazed me, and one in Samaria in Iraq. One that I'd visited a number of years earlier in Patani province in Thailand. Another one in Grand uh, Granada, Spain. Another one in Syria. And 
although we didn't get to Singapore, there is a replica of one that's in Singapore. One that's in Lahore, Pakistan. Another one that's in the Bukhara, who's in Marstain. The Isfahan Mosque in Iran. This one's the El Masjid in Saudi Arabia. Up on top of the Dome of the Rock we got to see the course of the tourist train. Notice the fencing around the mosque replica is not quite safe. I nearly stepped through the railing because there's many holes in it. Uh, my passenger and myself taking photographs. The Cuba Mosque in Saudi Arabia. No idea what this one was. It was singularly not impressive. Not anyway from the outside, but on the inside it was quite impressive. There was a number of things that were sectioned off. The air conditioning wasn't working. So at some point we got back onto the tourist train. You can see the Dome of the Rock or the replica of the Dome of the Rock and I visited the actual Dome of the Rock in Jerusalem in 2017 I think the year was. This is a photograph of the replica of course and my passenger and myself. The detail was really quite impressive and obviously much smaller than the the original Dome of the Rock in Jerusalem. And of course this is the entrance fountain to the Taj Mahal in India. Was it worth the visit? Yes, it was. Uh, I reluctantly pay admission fees, but this was definitely worth paying for. And then it was time to go back to the yacht. And on the way back, we obviously bought some food. And this was about the only day that we hired a motorbike. I don't like riding on motorbikes in foreign countries. And of course, the video was produced by myself. And it's the end of the video of the Terengganu Crystal Mosque and Islamic Heritage Park.